Good morning guys! Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley or The Running Powerlifter on Instagram. And I'm here to take you guys through a full day of eating, two weeks out from my next competition. So I'm currently in my season of bikini competitions, my very first season. And I will be doing the Oklahoma Grand Prix with NPC in two weeks on November 7th. And I've had two shows previous to this with a different federation, NFF. I have been in prep since um, like April, March, April timeframe, but I have not been dieting that whole time. Um, I've had several breaks and maintenance periods. This week though, I'm coming off of like a, I don't know, three or four week maintenance period. Uh, and we are going to cut a little bit, which is why I had my cardio this morning on the stairs. So what my coach and I are doing from today, which is Tuesday, October 27th through Monday. So the next about week, we started yesterday. We were doing low, medium, high days when it comes to my like macros. So yesterday was a very low day. Today is a medium day and tomorrow is going to be a high day. And I will tell you guys my macros, but just know these won't work for you. Don't copy my macros. I have a different dieting history. I have different a different background, different training history, different literally everything than you. So get a coach if you are wondering what your macros are. Don't copy these. Anyways, I'm hitting 120 protein every day and I am basically filling the rest of my macros with carbs and fats as I want. Um, so my coach gave me that freedom this time around. So today, my medium day, I'm hitting 1700 calories. So 120 protein. And then I'm choosing to fill the rest with, I think it's, I'm doing 48 fat and 187 carbs. Yep. That's right. So take you guys through that. You saw that I had my, um, protein cream of wheat rice mixture with my Bomar Nutrition um, blueberry cheesecake protein and a little cinnamon sea salt. Mm, so good. And before that, my technical meal one, I have 25 grams of intro workout carbs along with my EAAs and creatine. So I am two meals down. It is 8.45. I have a work call at nine and I usually eat around like 9.30. So I might like, multitask and make my food while I am on that call. And yeah, anyways, um, I am also going to include in this video just some prep talk about how I've been feeling since I have been through kind of a roller coaster of emotions um, the last two-ish weeks. So I'll get into that later, but for now, when I get to work, I'll show you guys my next meal, meal three, one of my favorites. and thoroughly enjoyed my eggs and toast. That's just like oh, the best combo. I don't think I will ever get old of it. <laughs> old of it? What? <laughs> Sick of it. Okay, well, you can see how today is going. All right. <laughs> Anyways, I did, uh, contrary to what you may believe by what I just said, I already had my coffee and so my caffeinated coffee and I actually made some decaf cold brew last night and this is Vietnamese cinnamon flavor. Mm, it is so good. But while I kind of sip on this, um, I am going to chat to you guys about just some of the prep feels I have been feeling. So last week I dealt with some just like really nasty bloating. It, I hardly ever get bloated. I make it a point to optimize my digestion with what I eat, when I eat, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, the bloat definitely hit me. I think I have it narrowed down to a food that kind of 
made my stomach upset. Basically the bloating, um, it just brought out some like unrealized pressures I was putting on myself to do really well in this next competition. So it's like I got bloated and I like it affected me mentally way more than it should have. Like I know bloating is temporary. Like I know that I don't usually get bloated, but yeah, I, again, it, it hit me hard because I was like, man, like I don't want to be bloated for the competition. Like I, I want to do so good. And I was like, well, okay, take a step back. Um, that's not why I'm competing to like do well, place well. That is going to be a byproduct, but why I'm competing is because I love this process and I wanted to try it out. I wanted to have fun with it. I wanted to do this for me and just practice excellence in my day to day to get to this awesome end result and push my body past a point or past all points it's ever been when it comes to my physique. So I think I just like lost sight of that. Um, and I, you know, was more grounded in that realization last week and really turned my mindset around. Um, Cause I was like, you know what? That's stupid. Like don't put all that pressure on yourself. Like of course put pressure on myself to do my best day to day, but I need to rest assured that my efforts are my best. Like I know I'm putting in my best. So as long as that's what I present on stage, who cares what the placings are? Like I can't control who's gonna show up that day and what the judges are really going to look for when it comes to all the girls lined up on stage. Uh, again, I, I'm doing this to make myself proud and that's what how I need to go into this show and have fun. I think the fun was kind of getting sucked out of it for me because I just again felt like this pressure and weight on my shoulders. So this week I'm just feeling immensely better uh, mindset wise and the bloating went away, yay. But anyways, um, I think these past couple weeks have been probably the hardest mentally in prep. Um, so that kind of stunk, but at the same time, it's a, like, I'm really happy that that was the hardest thing I dealt with. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I've had a really awesome prep, really. Um, and if that's the worst of it, that's okay. I'm so happy that I feel so excited about it. Like I feel like my first show, like just pumped, ready to step on stage, do my thing, no expectations. And then two weeks after that, I have my third NFF show and that'll be my last one of the season. I, I think so at least. So I I'm ready to finish out these last two shows strong and then enter an off season, enjoy the holidays, enjoy just a little bit more freedom within my food maybe eating out with my husband more and ordering more takeout, just not being so strict. I mean, being strict has a time and a place and a season and that season is about to come to a close for me. Not to say I'll go crazy in my off season, but I will be obviously more flexible. With that, I'm going to drink my decaf coffee, get back to work. And then, and then go on a little walk, even though it's like 40 degrees in Dallas. Who are you, Dallas? Who are you? I will catch you guys for my next meal, which will probably be around one because I have a call from 1230 to one and that's when I usually eat. It's like the day of calls today, so. Okay, catch you then. It's noon. I was going to wait to eat until after my next call at one, but I decided, nah, I'd rather eat now. And by the way, it's so cold here. So I have my headband covering the top of my ears because I sit next to a window and it's cold. So I'm going to go make my lunch. It's nothing super exciting. Um, I am going to have, I think I pre-logged, which I typically do pre-log my food because it just makes my life so easy. I can you know, I know exactly what to grab. I don't have to do any like macro tracking, super easy. So I think I'm having like chicken, broccoli, a banana and oil, I think. Yeah, keeping it simple, whole food based, delicious.
coming up for air from work. It's been a really crazy day, but real quick, my next meal. Um, I have a Bomar Nutrition, uh, their new peanut butter cookie vegan protein bar, which I'm gonna try for the first time. Give you guys a live taste test. And then I also have some oatmeal over here. Oatmeal with PB2, PB2 cinnamon, sea salt, and stevia. So let's try this guy. Um, so I'm not a huge vegan protein fan. I just don't like the texture compared to whey protein. Um, this, we'll see. I've tried their peanut butter cookie protein, like the vegan protein, and I just, it's just not my favorite. It's like PB2, but the texture's thicker. It has like a, a little bit of like an earthy taste. So mm, it's okay, but let's try this. Mm. very dry very thick like once it starts like this sounds really gross but once you start like chewing it and like it mixes with saliva it gets a little less dry but mm. this is not my favorite one of theirs um to be honest i don't know and i don't get like a ton of taste from it like i get some peanuts or like peanutty taste not a little bit of an earthy taste, not too bad. I don't really know what to think about it. I need to keep eating it, but if you're a vegan, this may be a great option for you. Like, it doesn't taste bad, it just, I don't know what it tastes like. It's like peanutty, but I feel like it's not super strong. Um, and actually, I actually kind of like this dry texture, but uh, yeah, definitely wouldn't be my go-to. Their coffee cake protein bars and their lemon bar protein bars. <gasps> Those are two of my favorite protein bars, like period. Love them. This, just like the vegan protein. Like they've got, actually their cinnamon, cinnamon cereal vegan protein is pretty fire, but the rest I'm just like lukewarm about. This, I'm very lukewarm about, so. I'll put the link below if you guys want to try it. It launches on Friday, October 30th at noon Eastern time or 11 central. Okay, back to work to finish out this day. It is time to end the day. Done. Okay. <sighs> Feels after a long work day. Zoom fatigue, such a real thing. I was on Zooms all day long but i'm off now i'm very excited about it um so i generally end work around five o'clock so i typically work from like 8 30 to 5 and that's because i take like a 30 minute lunch break i prefer just a shorter day um i don't have to work those hours i can make my own schedule which is nice so anyways i already posed this morning actually so my coach just started implementing like a mandatory tuesday thursday saturday 15 minute to 20 minute posing session um, with everybody. So I typically do pose right after work at five o'clock, but I already did that. So I am going to obviously skip that and I'm gonna go on my post work walk. So I typically try to hit like 11,000 steps um, to one, stay active, because it's good for you, heart health, and two, to be consistent. Um, I feel like I talk about this all the time and you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but with prep, I like to be consistent, whether it's with the amount of activity I'm getting or the foods I'm eating to make sure that basically things are predictable. Like I don't want to get 1000 steps one day and then 11,000 steps the next day um, because like my progress won't be as linear. Like I want to have predictable progress. So I use predictable variables like getting 11,000 steps a day. So I'm going to go on a walk. I'm at, um, almost 8,000 steps. I have the Fitbit Versa and I love it. If you're thinking about getting it, let me know if you have questions. I love mine. So I'll go on a quick walk. It won't take me too long, like 30 minutes maybe. Um, and it feels so good to like, just walk around and get that break from work to non-work, like get my brain out of that mode. So I'm looking forward to that. And I got a special package in the mail. Um, I got my new Shoe Fairy shoes. Um, so the Shoe Fairy is a company that makes competition heels. And 
they oh my gosh I have their Olympian mules and I love them they're strapless which I was scared about but no need to be scared because the strap is like really long so it holds your foot in very secure but I did decide to because why the heck not uh try their strapped ones so they're original Olympians and we'll see how those go I might show you guys an unboxing in a little bit before dinner all right catch you guys for dinner which is going to be simple because two weeks out i'm keeping it simple i'm not trying to mess up my digestion again that wasn't fun <laughs>